Hi, my name is Melody Hernandez and I will be doing this week's video announcements. I will be covering the week of December 11th through the 15th. On Monday, December 11th, first grade has map testing till Thursday. We also have the neat three weeks celebration. There's also a good news club by FBC at 4 o'clock p.m. The Broncos can beat against the Peaster Junior High Greyhounds there with games starting at 4.30. Also, the Lady Broncos compete against the Lady Hounds here with games starting at 4.30. FFA has a Pecan Valley District Banquet from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. On Tuesday, December 12th, the Lady Bucks will compete against Millsap here. Times will be to my right. The Bucks are taking a long drive over to San Angelo playing there. Times are also to my right. I want to wish these two teams the very best. Go Lady Bucks and Bucks! On Wednesday, December 13th, all we have and is very important is a National Honor Society induction ceremony at Bailey Auditorium from 9 to 10 a.m. Hey, Mr. Best. Yes, ma'am. I've got some fun, interesting Christmas trivia. Bring it on. It is the season. Did you know Christmas pudding used to be a soup? Didn't know that. In the 1300s, Christmas pudding was called frumenty. Hmm. It looked like a soup that was made from beef and mutton, fruit, wines, and spices. People used to eat it before Christmas so that they weren't too full up before the main meal on Christmas Day. Did you know candy canes were invented to keep kids quiet in church? Tell us more. In 1670, a German choir master asked a sweet shop to make sweets in the shape of a shepherd's hook for the children at his church to keep them quiet during the Christmas festivals. Sounds like a good plan. On Thursday, December 14th, there's nothing scheduled, but as always, make sure to check the calendar. On Friday, December 15th, the Bucks compete against Huckabee. Here, times are to my right. And also, the Lady Bucks compete against Brock there, and times are also to my right. Did you know, instead of turkey at Christmas, it used to be a pig's head and mustard? Tell us. Imagine sitting down for your Christmas dinner and seeing a pig's head in the middle of your table. Yuck. Turkey didn't appear on the Christmas menu until Henry VIII in the 1500s. Go England. I want to wish everyone a great week, but I want to remind you that we are one week away from Christmas break, so that's exciting. Go Bucks and Broncos!